in biology why mother cells and daughter cells why not father cells and son cells very interesting biology today let's learn the basic reasons behind this scene <laughs> Reason 1. Mothers bring up new generations in their bodies and give birth. So generations run through mothers, not fathers. Fathers don't bring up new nates or give birth, so they are least involved with respect to producing new organisms or cells. Reason 2. Female egg cells provide all the basic determinants for growth after zygote formation. Fathers only provide DNA for fertilization to complete the homologous pairs. Rest ingredients are used from mother's egg cell. Reason 3. Daughters will produce new young ones like mothers. So new cells are termed as daughter cells because they will act as mother next time. Son's role is as like father. So they are least involved to produce new generations. Reason 4. In case of asexually reproducing cells or organisms where there is no mother or father, we refer the same convention as mother cell and daughter cells. Reason 5. In science, new conventions are always based on a phenomena known to everyone so that it may be easily understood. So it is easy for the public to digest the theme that parent cell mean mother cell and daughter cell mean new cell which can produce further new ones. Let's think critically. What do you think about cells which don't divide further and stop cell division after production like neurons? Do you call them as sun cell or not? Give your valuable answer with logic in comments. <laughs>